Meghalaya Education Minister Rakam A. Sangma participated at the Education World Forum 2023 held at London, United Kingdom. He presented a keynote address representing Meghalaya and also the North East and highlighted the various initiatives of the government on the education sector. So I'm just uh, two and a half months old, Minister of Education of the State of Meghalaya. And the best things when I was on my way to London, I went to the counter for my current Jacksons in Delhi airport. And the lady at the counter asked me to give the foreign passport. And I was surprised. And I have given my Indian passport. And she was the belief. Why? She didn't accept, accept me as an Indian. <laughs> So I come from the, the known as Meghalaya, the above the clouds, and Scotland of the East, as was known before. As Colonel says, it be one fridge in three months, three years, five years, you plant the vegetables and the trees that be created. But if you once we have fruit for 100 years, blend the children. It is not, my dear friends, I was not aware that many great scholar, great personality, and many vice chancellor of Indian are here with us. So I'm privileged to be here among you, with, with all of you. And greetings from my state, uh, from Honorable Chief Minister. We are fortunate to have our Chief Minister, Conrad K. Sangma, who has graduated from London. And greetings to all the delegates and the presence here at the Indo Education Innovation Conference and the Indian Week 2023 from the land which is called Above the Clouds, our Meghalaya, and India, our nation as a whole. I'm privileged to have given this opportunity to address, discuss, and interact with the distinguished members present in this afternoon in this hall of in Thomas Oxford University London. The conference is a spent for with a service and the programs with a view to collaborate approach in the field of education and its future readiness. India has, has emerged to transform education holistically through the National Education Policy 2020, as we have discussed, which will see the improvement in access, equity, equality, and future readiness in all aspects of education, be it schools or higher education, are met as per the global standard. In the very young nation which enjoy a healthy democratic development, this follows in vision to make equip our aspiring students with the knowledge and the Request skills with a view to develop an incubative, entrepreneurial, and research based learning approach. The nation envisioned to improve the gross enrollment ratio to 50% in 2035 has emerged mandated or higher education institution to the better for quality assurance by the National Accredited Assessment Council. Meghalaya, being a small state in India, Tuck away in the nation's left arm, bordering Bangladesh in the south, is no stranger to the people of the United Kingdom. Back in the colony past, Shillong, the capital of Meghalaya, was known as a Scotland of the East, was made a summer capital back then. Our grief was also developed by Royal missionary Thomas Jones, where the headquarters was based in. Sora, the Charapunji, the wettest place on the planet. We predominantly travels community, the Kashi, the Garo, and the Jaintis, and we share a rich cultural diversity through our religion, language, food, and festival. Our people have a command of the English language and more our children lucrative in the service industry where the language as skill is required. As our population has 
below age of 25 years, this present government in the state envisioned a holistic youth development plan focusing on three core fields, education, skills, and entrepreneurship. As our state also on the way to implement MEP 2020. The we react for different states, maybe in a different ideas for the small state like us. Because our state life, we are a revenue deficit state. There are lots of challenges in the state. But it's our endeavor to bring the standard of our education system so that it, it fall with a level, with a standard of the country and also with a global standard. We have the potential, but there is also, there is always a challenge. Prince Meghalaya is moving forward on the three pillar. As I have stated, like the education, when we focusing on equity and capital courses and different courses that that offer to the our students, and also we're working forward with a, uh, giving the soft skills talents to our students, so that they will face challenges and they stand against the challenges tomorrow. As we launch called Skill Mikalaya and primes and different initiatives from the government so that we identify the talent that we have and we groom off and sell out for services. And the prime is an acronym for promotion and incubation of market driven enterprises where the program envision making entrepreneurship a prepared career choices for the youth and people of the state through creation of a dynamic and collaborative ecosystem and enable easy availability of credit, relevant technology, skilling and mentoring support and access to high knowledge market. The prime the youth is encouraged to explore alternative method of employment and become job creator rather than manage job seeker. This is what we envision for our state and we are identifying the many talents of our students, of the, the, the youngs that we have, so that we pulled it off for better days to tomorrow. So friends, as Megale as a very, very small state, we have, but do we have a very small state, we have 14,600 schools. And we have 109 higher secondary, higher education institutions. And the number of students from pre-primary to higher secondary, about 11 lakhs, 27,750 SF now. And in the colleges, about one lakh students that we have. And faculty members, we have all together about 54,000 faculty members in the whole of the state. So we have lots of challenges in working for the welfare of our teachers as well. But as we take our nation forward and a step forward, we are always working always to give the best quality teachers to the students. So as I, I see, the many Indians, great people here. If you want to take our state forward, yes, in India, we have many states who are doing excellently well. As we talk, India is a great nation, and there is a democracy in the world. If you want to leave the trophy, we should have all the elements clear on their sun talent skill. If you have some two to three players, we start up to that standard. 
we may lose the trophy. Therefore, what I'm saying is, as India moving forward, as this, uh, has just raised the question, as India moving forward to be one of the top leading institute, uh, education center in the country, we should prepare every stage. We should bring up the standard of education system of all every stage of the country. Like, as I've said in the beginning, many of the Indians, states, people, doesn't know about the Nordis. Nordis is very far away from Delhi, and we are even, in fact, more closer to Dhaka, the headquarters, the capital city of Bangladesh. We live with certain challenges, but the talents, the ideas, the efficiency that we have, our people, of that reason, we are second to nobody. But, but we need a progressive, we need a prince, we, need, we always look for the support from the government of India. As just to say, we have very nice private university, private institution. Mostly we are depending on the public institution, it being run by fully by the government. Yes, of course, we have certain institution, it's a private institution, but not up to that standard that we have in the great uh, uh, states of the country. Therefore, I think if the world wants a peaceful global, if India wants to run ahead, I think everybody, every individual, the great companies, the great nation, the great countries, the great individual, we should also think to invest towards this sector. Because no weapons, no missile is going to protect your country, except we design except we prepare our children for better humans for tomorrow. Because the educated husband and the wife never fight. <laughs> never fight. And also, though you are educated and lucky, you, you are not able to sleep well if your neighbors fight. Therefore, if you want to sleep well, you also think about your members. So, you have to take your never on board alone. The bit is what the world needs today. Because the challenges for any global country is equilateral and identical. Tomorrow we will change, we face the challenges on climate issues, peace and harmony, and computer science. Yesterday we were talking in the World Global Forum in London that uh, the CEO of the, uh, the court company was presenting about uh, artificial intelligence. Many education ministers of different countries were very difficult to accept the, the concept of artificial intelligence. Because we are worried about to for replacement, substitute of the human level. Yes, I am also graduated in physics. I did my first graduate in physics. But would like to would like to take my um, give my opinion. Yes, it is true. It is true that a person is true. The science, computer science, is to substantiate a human endeavor, but not to substitute. Therefore, we like to leave this talk to the global community. Yes, computer science, the technology, is a product of human endeavor. Therefore, as a students of today, we should step, we should be a step away ahead than the technology. Otherwise, we will be controlled with technology, rather we should take control of that technology. For that reason, we should prepare our children so that in the days to come, 
they will be able to understand how to use this artificial technology if there is to come. And also, yes, there are many challenges that we will face in the days to come. But therefore, I would like to appeal to all the great Indians and the great peoples and the great countries of the global community. We should reach out, share the asset that we have today. As I've said to your members, yesterday, a lady from Afghanistan, she was giving the presentation. It touched my heart and even brought tears from my eyes. She was appealing to the world community, any great nation, any great individual, please help us give scholarship to our students. Because in Afghanistan, girl children are not allowed to go for studies. This touch everyone's heart. I think of such kind as a country, as an individual capacity, we can reach out, we can contribute, we can adopt, we can work together. Therefore, we'd like to leave this thought at the end to each one of you. As we exist, we have been designed uniquely human has been designed uniquely and what is the best that we have today we have to live with footprints i think the best footprints that we are going to live is let's adopt somebody let's work for somebody let's share something to somebody because when we live this world that individual will remember you I think this is what the world needs for now. And to give the global intent, to give to bring the global community together, and to bring the global global community together in a good way. This is the education, it's the only chapter, only sector that we have to concentrate. That if it is not, we have to invite everyone of you to work with us, to partner with us, and the asset that you have today, it's an asset not only for to you, it's an asset for the generation to come. The asset means the education that you have, the resources that you have, as our former speaker of the Lord Sabha, let me Sabha always say it. the purpose of our existence is not to consume the resources that we have today. The purpose of our existence is to preserve the resources that have today for the generation to come. Let's preserve and promote and share to the generation to come.